Welcome back you guys to another day of Vlogmas. What is up you guys? My name is Kira if you are new and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today I am sharing with you a Big Lots haul. So it is pretty small on a scale I would say of a normal shopping haul. I only spent I think about $96 after tax but I got some really cool things that I wanted to share. I am obsessed with big lots i always sleep on them and then i think about it like once every couple of months in random and i literally pass by one every single day and i just never think to stop and then i get the impulse to stop and i'm always so surprised at the things that i find in there especially the food finds they have a very large food section um and you guys know if you watch my dollar tree hauls that i am all about like my Dollar Tree food finds and this is like the Dollar Tree food finds on a whole nother level. Um, being that this is Vlogmas, I will say that for the rest of the year I'm going to be quite casual in the best that I can. Like I am no makeup. I literally just got out of the shower like 10 minutes ago. You can see that my hair is still wet. I only did like the blow dry in the front to create the illusion as if my hair was done uh, it's midday right now and i am exhausted i have not slept well the last two days it's my own fault but needless to say i have not slept well so i need a red bull and so you guys are my afternoon pick me up a red bull and a big lot tall let's do this i say casual too because not only my fresh out of the shower but I am wearing Christmas pajama pants like straight up Christmas pajama pants and I'm chilling with my cat by my side go ahead Oliver you want to say hello you're always stealing the show anyway we got laundry behind him but the bed is made so there's that and I didn't do that for you guys I did that for me but all right let me get into what I got it's not going to take us very long. Like I said, I spent a little under $100 and you know how fast it is to climb to 100 bucks. So I did pick up this. I was excited to share this with you guys, especially if you have a tea lover. So one thing that Big Lots is good for is like their kits. A lot of places put together like Christmassy kind of kits like the cheese sauces and crackers you always have the mugs with the hot cocoa and stuff but a lot of the ones in big lots are not like the average ones they're always very different and very unique and very well priced so look at how beautiful this is this is huge can you tell how big this is and it says this tea book is a perfect gift for tea lovers so if you guys watch vanessa over at lebanon mom page her oldest daughter loves teas and when she was asked what she wanted for christmas she gave a book list a mile long this girl is so incredible like she asked for things like crime and punishment and pride and prejudice like real adult mature super deep and meaningful books and I jumped all over that I was like hey I want to get a couple of those books off of her list if you don't mind because I'm very impressed by what like she's asking for it's just super mature and so I like wanted something else to give her other than books you know and so when I saw this and I knew she loved teas and then Vanessa was like oh my god it looks like a book I was like all right then that is perfect because yes it looks like a giant book I don't know if we can open it does it let you open it let's see oh it does oh look how cool this is all right I think that is awesome so we have tea from England France Turkish, Morocco, Jamaica, China, Japan, and what's the last one I'm reading backwards? Oh, India. How cool is that? I love that. So all the 
what you're seeing through here, all the different colors, is all the different teas. That is a pretty cool. So I'm really excited about that. All like the brewing instructions are on the back. And this was $15, which I think is well worth it. So that'll look really cool with the books that we got her. And then this is what I went for, you guys. And I was most excited about it. I absolutely love sharing that coffee intro with you guys and I shared it in yesterday's video for the first time and some of you already said like oh yay the intro is back and stuff and so I know that it means something to some of you and I think that is just the coolest thing and so I like having a brand new cup like I even have a list it has all the days of vlogmas listed and every day that I use a cup I write it down so that I don't duplicate my cup and I've already numbered all of my pods so that I don't duplicate a pod so this is the 12 coffees of Christmas and they're k-cup pods and the flavors are donut shop chocolate blizzard Christmas cookie gingerbread French vanilla candy cane glazed cinnamon roll spiced eggnog roasted chestnut French roast hot buttered rum and a peppermint mocha so I think I'm going to take out the two non like Christmassy or flavored ones and I'll give that to my husband because he likes the plainer coffees and I'm just gonna take all these flavored ones and I will share one each day and I'll let you know how they are in the intro what did I have today oh today I had the Cinnabon with the raspberry creamer and that was good that was good kind of a weird combination I need to go to Walmart. I'm going this week to Walmart and I'm going to grab like a bunch of different creamers because it's such a variety of flavor that I'm going to need to like offset them with different creamers. But I did get my 12 coffees of Christmas. So I'm excited about that. And then look at this. So Ellen DeGeneres came out with her own line of pet toys. And so this is a three piece set and it has a raccoon, I don't know what you are, a beaver or something, and then some green one in between. So I'm gonna divide these two, I mean three toys between the two pups. And I think that'll be cute to just break them apart and stuff them, stuff them in their stocking. This was $10. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw, but the coffee was $10.99. I didn't say that to you, but this was $10. So I thought that was super cute. They look very well built and I think they squeak right yeah it squeaks and that's gonna make Bruno happy because Bruno loves all the squeaks and then I got this for Mr. Oliver but he's sitting right here so we have to be quiet so he doesn't know okay but this is for his stocking and it says it's like a little holiday house plants so it's a cactus and we're in Texas I mean how freaking cute is that with the Christmas lights and the feathers and then this is a little cactus and a little pot with a Santa hat. So that's going to be some toys for Ollie. And then what else is in this bag? Okay, so then... <laughs> okay, so... I was going to change up what we were going to have anyways because I hadn't filmed this yet. So I bought this last week and I needed some ingredients and I was trying to avoid going to Walmart. So between Dollar Tree and Big Lots, I was trying to grab the items that I needed so that I didn't have to go. And one of the things I needed was salsa verde and green chili. So I was like, oh, between Dollar Tree and Big Lots, I should be able to get that. So I did find the Herdez Salsa Verde in the mild. And I think this was fairly inexpensive. Let me see if the price is on it. But comparable to the grocery store, no. But I think this was like two and change. Um, and then I took the chicken out to make my enchiladas that I was going to make. And then I realized I hadn't filmed this haul yet and I needed the stuff that was inside. And so I was like, all right, I'll switch it up and I'll do something else. I'll just do quesadillas. And then I took the chicken out and I had it boiling and I was up here filming something. Dollar Tree, maybe? And Bruno ate the chicken out of the pot boiling. Out of the pot, boiling, not burnt. He's not burnt, he's not sore, he's not anything. He ate chicken out of the pot, boiling. So that night I made breakfast. And I guess I can bump the chicken enchiladas. So I also got the two cans of mild diced green chilies by Ortega. And that was supposed to make my 
green chicken creamy chilada recipe, which I have a video for, so I'll link it if you guys want to check it out, but maybe you'll have success in making it because I did not. Um, and then I also saw this by the Taco Bell brand, and it's the mild salsa con queso, and so I just got that because we were going to do, you know, like nacho chips and stuff on the side of our enchiladas, and well, we ate pumpkin pancakes and bacon so you know it is what it is uh i got this i don't know yet if i'm going to include this in uh, like um cr christmas themed lunches or if i'm just gonna save it for mom because mom loves everything pretzel factory and chocolate and peppermint or if i'm gonna use this for like a dessert board um during christmas time i don't know i always could go back this small little bag was 279 though but this is the snack factory dark chocolate and peppermint but this is like right up my alley that dark chocolate peppermint like s'mores pieces are almost gone i got them from sam's i only eat like a few pieces every other day or so otherwise i would have killed the bag already but i have like a tiny bit left and i just enjoy it so so much so i think i'm really gonna enjoy this i don't know yet if i'm going to share and I don't think I'm going to share this either. It's only a small one, but it's for a dollar. So I think I'm going to use this for like something special for me because they're all weird about it. But I love panettone. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a Italian cake. It's almost like the equivalent of a fruit cake, in my opinion. I feel like there's always such a stigma around like fruit cake, right? It's always the grossest thing ever. Everyone thinks it's so nasty. What are you getting for Christmas? I'm going to give somebody a fruitcake kind of thing. Well, Panettone, they have one of these. And it's very, like, dense bread. Similar to almost, like, dense but fluffy, if that makes any sense. So it's dense, but it's the consistency of, like, a croissant almost. Or, like, brioche bread, which is why I really like it. It makes a great French toast. But there's two different kinds. There's the kinds with the chocolate chips in it. And then there's the kinds that have like the little orange pieces in it and raisins, which gives you like that fruitcake feel. So I feel like a lot of people steer away from it. But it, even that one is good as French, is also good as French toast. But if you get the chocolate chip panettone, it has a very light orange undertone. But the chocolate chips in it are so good. And if you slice it and use it like bread for french toast it's phenomenal but i've never ever ever seen a chocolate one all chocolate just it's all chocolate it's not chocolate chip come on and focus for them what are you doing there you go i've never seen chocolate it's chocolate with chocolate chips it's only a little mini one so it'll be the first time we're ever trying it it was only a dollar but i had never ever seen that in my whole life and i've I always get panettone. I'm like the weird one that always makes sure I have one in my cart during Christmas time. So I'm not going to buy a big one this year because nobody really cares, but I care. So I'm going to do the mini one. Uh, something else that I care about. I love this brand. I go to Big Lots like during each holiday time just to get these chips. They're non-GMO and they don't use any like dyes or anything, which I think is awesome. So they're all like naturally dyed which i think is pretty cool because that's a really bright red and green for that but i'm gonna use these chips for christmas themed lunches we usually do that we'll do some kind of like taco themed thing one day and i'll use the red and green chips for that and then we'll just eat on them or i'll use them for a dessert board or something like that so speaking of kids lunches i saw the cake bites there i thought I have to get these things again because Franklin, he showed up today. I'll share him with you guys in just one second. Um, but Franklin told me this idea that he had and I cannot get enough of it. I think it's the funniest thing. So their last day of school is a half day, so they don't have lunch. But their day before when they have lunch, he's going to individually wrap every single item of their lunch. So they're gonna have to open it to see what they have. I was like, Franklin, you're a genius. That is so smart, that's so smart. So one of the things he's going to include are these Christmas sprinkles, vanilla icing, vanilla cream, vanilla cake, but they're red and green squares. And they have the little elf on the shelf like packaging. That's what the packaging looked like. And you can write whatever message 
that you want on there. They were a little pricey. I think $4.50 is a lot. I feel like they're a little cheaper in Walmart, but it's going to be perfect for the lunches that he wraps. Um, all right, so this is so funny. We're like in the food section and we're near all this stuff. And I say to Vanessa, I hope I can find that popcorn. And she said, what popcorn? I said, I'm in love with this popcorn. And every single time that this year comes around, I look for it. I can never find it. And then Madison will find it because she shops in Kroger. Now, there are some parts of Texas that have a Kroger, but we do not. Um, and so she will shop in Kroger and she'll find this popcorn and then she'll send me pictures of it. And she'll say, like, look what I found. And I always, like, send her back some kind of rude emoji because I can never get my hands on them. So she's like, well, maybe you'll find them this year. I was like, yeah, I'm hoping because it's, I love it. It's so delicious. And it only comes out this time of year. And like, literally we round the corner and boom, I like walk into a display of it. And I was like, wow, thank you, Lord. Ask and ye shall receive. Like I walked into it. And this is it, you guys. It's by Boom Chicka Pop. And it's the Angie's brand. And this is the, what is this one? Yeah, hot cocoa marshmallow flavored drizzled popcorn. It's non-GMO and it's seriously simply delicious. Boom. Whole grain, gluten-free. Oh yeah, there's a picture of it. Look, let me just show you. Let me, yeah, there you go. Camera, focus on that. Do you see that piece of popcorn? It is seriously the most delicious thing in life. Actually, I've been... I've been waiting to film, and this is vlog style, so I'm going to eat a piece of popcorn with you guys so I can share with you. Oh, look, it's stuck together. Oh, no, come back. Don't jump off the... He didn't want to be eaten. He was jumping ship. Okay, this is kind of stuck together, but you can still see. Wait, hold on. My, Of course, it, my hair got stuck to it. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Look at that, you guys. Oh, jeez. Come on. There you go. See? Vlog style. I'm not editing that out. But we're going to eat this right now. It's so good. Oh, did you hear food? I'm not sharing. No. No. Get out of here. You can't eat this. And you're going to see your cat toys. Go away. You're not allowed. Go. Go, be free. All right, you guys, we're almost done. So I got these Utz snowballs. It's just white cheddar puffs, but our elf has a bunch of things that are going to involve snowballs. So I'm going to leave this out with the snowball thing, and then we'll use the rest for like Christmas themed lunches or whatever. And then Speaking of the kids' lunches, I got a few other things. I got the tackle box there also for Halloween, and it had so many sprinkles in it that I probably will have it for a good another two years. So it's a great investment. It's $4.95. So for $5, it's insane, but it has like snowflakes and candy canes and red, white, and green and white pearls and down there, it's snowmen, Christmas trees, gingerbread men. These red and green ones down here look like Christmas lights. Just so super sweet. This one, oh my goodness. Can you see that? Look, it's like um, holly. Holly leaves and berries. Come on, that is the cutest stinking thing ever. So it's called the Holiday Candy Tackle by Box. I will use it for lunches. Get out of here. He's trying to get his choice so smart um i saw these i did not want to buy two i almost regretted buying two but i only get these for him during the special holidays so i haven't gotten any of these for jake since easter so it's not like i do it all the time i'm talking to myself into why I bought this kid three pounds of gummy bears. But he loves these Albanese ones. Every time I share these, you guys write me and say that Jake has great taste in gummies because these are fantastic. And so I got him this big one last year. There's 23 servings in here. Last year, Jake let me break this up into 23 servings or whatever it was. It was like a bigger one than this actually. And he let me break it up and put it in little bags. And I only gave him one a day. So I was really proud of him because I told him like, I can't give you all this candy and then let you go into your room and just, you know, 
gain five pounds eating Christmas candy. That's not okay. But then these ones, I've never seen these. These are all like natural different flavors. So it says the ultimate eight flavor gummy bear. And none of these are the ones that are in the other one that I just showed you. And this is a smaller bag. You can tell than the other one, but it says colors from real fruits and vegetables. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, don't ask. I don't know. Uh, I did get my kids the Christmas Kinder Joy eggs so that they have those for their Christmas themed lunches. And then uh, lastly, I got the dogs, some dog treats. I got them last year for them. They look like bakery cookies with little frosting and sprinkles. They were kind of pricey. They were six bucks, but I know that they will enjoy them. So I got those for them as well. All right, you guys, my camera battery is blinking. So I'm not sure if you're even going to make it to see this, but and it's really dark. I have my filming light on, but I want to show you our elf came today. There he is on his pool noodle slide. He's on his little blow up sled right there. And he came down. There's his door. That's how he gets back and forth to the North Pole. There's his book and some decorations. And then there's his letter that he brought to talk to them. But that is it, you guys. So I'm going to try and end this video before the camera dies. So I love you so much. Thanks for tuning in for another Vlogmas video. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Woohoo! I made it. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.